Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play the Colonel's Request. Last time, we came up here to Fifi's room and saw Fifi and Rudy get into another fight because Rudy does not know how to s what the word no means. Anyway, so now she's sleeping. Let's look at her. Aw, poor thing. Oh, and now there's a new song playing that kind of scared me. Clarence likes to drink. Or no, does he drink bourbon? I don't know. I forget. I'm, I'm not too familiar with alcohol or drinks. Anyway, let's inspect character with armor. And we get a fingerprint. And let's look at the glasses. Oh, the good music starts back up. Two glasses. Who else? We plan to have up here. It obviously wasn't Rudy because he didn't look too welcome. And let's take a look at the glasses. That didn't do much, did it? Hmm. Will this show us anything new? Glasses are empty. All right. And what are these uh, portraits here? Oh, nothing of interest. And over here looks like we have a little changing room. Hmm. A pile of clothes. Oh shoot. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's let uh, Fifi sleep. After having to deal with Rudy. Uh, you can't blame her. Anyway, remember that uh, suit of armor down here? Well, now we can do something with it. Remember how it was all uh, rusty at the joints? Let's, um, use oil on armor. Hmm, I have an idea. Oil, arm. It's the worst that can happen. That was violent. I love the different ways you can die in this game because, like, they're mostly just stupid moves on, on your own part. There are a couple other ways you can get killed by the actual killer, but not many. And I'll, I'll try to show them to you if I can. They're kind of a uh, random. You have to be in like the right place at the right time, or the wrong place at the wrong time, I should say. Let's try that again. This time, oil helmet. Alright. An open helmet. What do we have here? Small metal valve handle. And an old yellowed note. It says, and here we find the name Sarah. Now, um, uh, the reason why I was asking people about Sarah, even though we've officially the lore shouldn't know about this until about this point in the game. The thing is, uh, this game was meant to be played multiple times. You're not you're supposed to just sort of like discover things on your own, explore, and uh, put pieces together bit by bit until you can play the whole game and get all the pieces put together at once. So that's why you can ask people about Sarah, even though um, you can't know about her until later in the game. Anyway, so talks about uh, the war. I'm assuming. Well, the colonels uh, fought in the Spanish-American War, but I'm assuming that this is coming even before that. I think this is from the Civil War. And uh, valve handle for the water nymph. Hmm. And uh, it looks like she didn't look, know to look in the armor because that stuff was still there. So um, 
I guess Sarah never got this note. That's too bad. Let's leave it in there. Alright, so... Uh, let's do some more exploring outside. Ah, uh, yeah, this is a cool little part right here, but I can't actually... It's more convenient to go this way, actually. Ah, there we go. And let's go back to that dollhouse. I want to look inside. You notice the seat is intact again. That's because after I broke it, I accidentally uh, triggered a scene I didn't want to, and so I had to restore and do some parts over again. But that's fine. So, um... Let's look. Nothing special, alright. Open door. Hey, it's Lily! I'm guessing, uh, this is... Something she played with as a child. And she's talking to her toys. Reading a book to them. That's pretty odd. Um. Yeah, maybe they were right when they said she had issues. Surprised we didn't know about these earlier at school. Maybe something about uh, being here triggered the this sort of. Uh, oh, I'm a psychology major. I should know these terms. Or whatever. This. Um, yeah. Anyway, it doesn't look like we can really look at anything. Oh well. So, um, let's look around some more. And let's see if we can't do something about this bell tower. Oh! Hey there, Ethel. How you doing? Let's see if we can't get some uh, else out of her. Oh, fine. <laughs> You've probably seen double. Well, I would tell you, but you probably wouldn't remember. You're right on that account, I can tell you that much. So... Let's uh, go up this ladder here. She does it automatically. Dusty cobwebs in this rusted in place. Well, we know what to do with rust. Sweet. Now let's climb down. Let's ring the bell. Alright. And lower's too short. Alright, well we do have something we can use. Oh. Let's do this. <laughs> that didn't work out too well either. It was actually like a little funny thing where randomly if you do that, instead of just like crushing her head like you see there, it will actually like crush her down until she's only a pair of feet and it's like the bell with a pair of feet running around and runs into the tree. Just a little joke that you can randomly get, but I guess it's like super super hard to get or super rare. I I'm not sure what the conditions are for that. So let's try that again. Let's uh... Stand off to the side. There we go. All right. All right, get crank. So now we have two cranks. Let's strange. Well, we'll need both of them. So, um... Here we are back in the church. And, uh, let me guess. Yeah, Wilbur's gone. What happened to these bodies? Well, if you walk over here... There's a saggy floorboard. That seems to be so... specific 
here. Actually, a little uh, fun thing you do. This isn't necessary, and it comes up randomly. But this, you can see something over here. This is the graveyard. Graves and monuments. So we have the Dijon crypt, a new metal door, and the Krypton crypt. Anyway, um. If you keep en entering, you can uh, see something, so uh, I'll get back to you when I get that. Ah, look at that. Ah, oh, that, that gives me the chills every time that it gave me the chills right now. It looks like a wisp of mist from the bio, so she can't really even see it clearly. It seems like um, she only sees it as mist, but we see it, and um, it doesn't say it directly, but it's implied that this is the ghost of Sarah comes out of the grave, reaches out, and then just disappears. And that, like, comes up randomly. I had to, like, exit and enter ten times before that actually came up. Anyway, whew. That, that seriously made my blood go cold. That, it does that to me every freaking time. Anyway, uh, let's do some more exploring. We haven't really explored the uh, east side of the estate yet. So let's do so. Actually, I'll, I'll just go up through here, it'll probably be easier. It's a cool little garden place, and now uh, we'll visit up there soon enough. And go a little bit more to the right. Hmm. And this is Celia's shack. Before we go in there, though, um, I want to do some more exploring over on the edge of the bayou. We got a bridge here. So let's uh, see what's on the other side. Oh. Uh oh. Yeah, that didn't work out too well. You, you can't cross that bridge. It's just, it's just there for decoration and for kind of a red herring. Anyways, let's um, actually do some... Okay, let me see. Okay, never mind. Let's, uh, knock. Man, you are pretty short-tempered, aren't you? Well, um, remember that necklace we got from inside the doghouse? Well, that belongs to her, so... Necklace to Seely. Ah. And now she's friendly. Ah, 
Alright, she wants us to sit down, so let's do so. And let's uh, talk to her. Your healing necklace, yeah, as you may have heard from people, she likes to practice voodoo. Let's see, now she's all friended before, just because we did her one little favor. Hmm. This place was ruined and the owners killed. So that's how she died. You know, folks, this is the very first time I'm actually ever hearing this story. Like I said before, I was neglected to do the talk to, so this is the first time I'm doing that, and I've never heard this story before, so I didn't know why she knew so much about Sarah. And, uh, she, there were family jewels hidden on the plantation, remember that. Oh, and that's how you're supposed to see that, um, that that ghost is Sarah. Maybe she saw the ghost too. Yeah, we already discovered that for ourselves. Or oh, even she doesn't really think very highly of Lilith, does she? We were invited. And we were told that we would have fun exploring an old mansion, but um, Lilith's kind of ignored us. Actually, we want to talk to you about some stuff first. About ghost. Ah, so you can't tell her about the ghost. That's pretty cool. Ask about ghost. See, I, I'm discovering new things all the time. Like, these aren't necessary dialogue options, but they do add some story. Anyway. You know what? I'm just going to end it off here, and we'll have our full conversation with her next time on Let's Play the Colonel's Bequest. Thank you all for watching, and have a good day.